How are you, my dear children? I hope you all are fine. Has it happened to you that when you do some work, many people unnecessarily give their opinion in your work? What should we do when such a situation happens? Kids should use their brains because human beings have this inherent psyche to blabbering about someone else's work or attitude. People keep saying something or the other. We should take the decision of right and wrong with our understanding. Let me tell you an interesting story. Listen to it very carefully. Once upon a time there lived a merchant named Praveen in a village. Praveen had a small family. He used a donkey for the drive. He used to carry the goods on the donkey and take them to the market. Praveen also had a son, Sham. With time, Praveen's son also grew up. One day, Praveen thought that my son has grown up a bit. Why not take the son to the market so that he also knows how I work? And if ever needed a companion, he should go to the market and do business instead of me. Praveen, Sham and the donkey were returning home on foot comfortably. Then on the way they heard that two people passing by are saying among themselves that look at these fools, donkey is with them yet both are walking on the foot. Praveen thought it was okay. If I have a donkey, why am I walking with my son? Praveen got on the donkey with her son and proceeded further. He had just reached a little extent that he met some people again who saw them going on the donkey and started saying that look at that poor donkey sitting on the donkey both of them we are taking out the kachumbar of the poor donkey who is barely able to walk. Hearing this Praveen felt pity. He thought it was okay that the donkey should not die due to the burden of both of us. Praveen got down from the donkey's back and let her son sit and again went towards the house. Praveen had just walked a few steps ahead when a woman's voice from the nearby field hits his ear. The woman was saying that hey look how shameless this boy is. The poor father is walking on foot and the boy is enjoying the ride of a donkey. It would have been better if he would walk and let his father sit on the donkey. As soon as the woman's word fell in the ears of Praveen's son, Sham, he immediately came down from the donkey and he made his father ride on the donkey's back. Father, son and the donkey proceeded from there. He had just reached near the village that a person was passing by and the person said, Wow brother, wow! For the first time I have seen such a selfish man who is sitting on a donkey with fun and takes his donkey and innocent son on foot. Oof, but forcing? Praveen was confused on hearing this comment. He didn't understand what to do. When Praveen didn't understand anything, along with his son, tied the donkey upside down with bamboo and lifted it on his shoulder. Both father and son were walking towards the house tying the donkey with bamboo and hanging them on their shoulders. As soon as he reached near the house, all the people started laughing. An elder of the village asked Praveen with a condescending laugh, What is the matter Praveen? Is this donkey lame? Lula? Can he not walk? Oof, Praveen told everything that happened on the way. When he told his story, the elders listened carefully to all the words of Praveen and said, Why not using your own brain? You kept doing all this according to what others said. That's why today the donkey is on your shoulders and people are laughing seeing you. Listening to the old man's word, Praveen understood what was wrong with him and he immediately let the donkey down from his shoulders. So children, did you like this story? I bet you did. This story gives us a lesson that whatever work we do, people will definitely say something after seeing it. Start taking your decisions accordingly. 
Many times when it happens that you are not able to take any proper decision, then take opinion from those whom you trust who are elder to you. If we keep going according to the opinion of the times, then it'll happen like what happened with Praveen. Those who give you opinions, then you will be laughed upon. So children, I hope you enjoyed the story. I'll come again yet with another funny story. Till then, take care and see you very, very soon.